Oh, I'm worn out before I start. <laughs> I've just been lying down in the, uh, you know. In the I, 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 well, in the room. Hang just, on, you've got a hair. I, I want you to look good. Uh, Des, don't start. <laughs> You're touching again, aren't you? He's a touchy, you know. He touches all the time, like yes. Merle Oberon. <laughs> How nice you look. Well, thank you. You look lovely. You made a lovely entrance there. You like that, did you? Yes. Yeah, I love steps. I love steps. It's a lie, you know. I hate them. You see, it's the arthritis. I'm riddled with it. And the, honestly, this morning, it took me two hours to get out of bed. Because I've got it all down this side. There's an R in the month, you see. And just oh, no. think, I used to jump out of an hammock in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what a gay day. <laughs> You, you, you were saying that you thought I, I looked okay. Right? Des, you look absolutely... I don't want to... No, 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 don't, please. You look absolutely wonderful. Marge, I'd heard that you got very cocky since you'd come to the BBC too. <laughs> Somebody said to me, he's got very cocky. I said, not Des. Not Des. Not in those tight trousers. I said, not Des. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you're right. There's I some... don't know how you breathe. <laughs> I keep my car keys in my mouth. <laughs> so I heard. <clears throat> it's as common as dirt, you know. But honestly, Des, you look absolutely lovely. And the hair. Oh. The ha no, 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 Des, really. Let me have a look. Look. It's really. It's been done, hasn't it? Have you had the, uh, the lift? What do you mean the lift? Well, you can tell them. The friends of mine. Go on. You've had, you, you know, it looks all shushed up. It's lovely. Turn, <laughs> let me have a look at the back. Turn around. Come on. <laughs> June Allison at her best. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to get, I'm supposed to interview you, I haven't asked you a question. My yet. hair was uh, washing. <laughs> I told you, you were all, it was bits sticking out. Yes, I know, well, of course you say, I lie in a funny position. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, Larry, yeah. I'm gonna ask you a question which I guess you've never been asked before. You want a bet? <laughs> <laughs> How did you start? I mean, did you start straight into the comedy? Oh, yes. Many, many years ago, before you were born, I, um... <laughs> after, I, no, it's true. After I left school, I went to, I wanted to be on the stage, you see. I wanted to uh, become an actor, you see. And uh, I went to see all these uh, plays. They used to have what they call fit-up plays, you see. And they used to play two nights at each village. And uh, I saw lots of lovely plays called, plays like uh, Ashamed of the Man She Married, Forced, Twice Nightly, <laughs> Should a Woman Refuse, they were all lovely plays. And uh, I got a job, you know, walking on, just, no, I didn't speak, I didn't speak, just to walk on, you see, and I thought, this is for me, but it wasn't. And then, Dame Fortune showed her face. I was, uh, don't laugh at me. I smiled. Yes, I, didn't I know. Laugh. I can see your eyes twinkling. Well, I went to this, um, <laughs> in a, a concert party called the Very Lights, which was, uh, you know, the enemies to drop lights. Very or fairy? No, very. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to drop these lights, they light up the town before they bomb the town. They called Very Lights. V A R Y L I T E S. I've got very it. Lights. Well, I went into a, a concert party called the Very Lights. I did everything in that. You know, all, uh, you know, I was very young, of course. So I had a little white suit, a little straw hat, and uh, I used to sing very naughty songs. Can you remember? Any well, yeah, well, naughty those sort of day, those days. Yes. Uh, what about this? Every night when the moon shines bright in the bushes at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> yes, every night it's a lovely sight in the bushes at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> By the light of the moon, how the couples they all spoon. They don't say, "I beg your pardon." For the old Tom Cat takes the tabby next door. Yeah, and the bush is at the bottom of the garden. <laughs> now, that was very daring in those days. Very daring. Of course, think, times have changed, as you know. Yeah, well, you see, I believe that after that, uh, after the concert party, you went on to... I mean, you did a drag act for a while. Oh, yes. Very few people know that Daniel Rue is my father. <laughs> <laughs> That should upset him. Oh, well, <laughs> you, you, you actually did... Uh, yes, during the war. I used to uh, entertain the troops during the war. <laughs> I did. Yes. My billing was... You know what my billing was? I can't wait. The reason the troops went east. <laughs> and west. And I tell you, I used to do common Miranda impersonations and things and tan my legs with the, at the bottle. You remember the bottle stuff, you know, put the, on your legs and put a black line up the back. And uh, I used to... Uh, 
impersonate the stars, you see, and it's lovely. You were telling me over a cup of tea. Yes. Yeah. You were telling me that you actually came to see me in Leicester. I did. Leicester Palace. Many years ago, and there was a lovely act on the bill. I, can't, I think they were called the Flying Tornadoes, and I sat right at the there front. Was, there was funny names of acts in Yes, but the Flying Tornadoes were wonderful. They were, she was getting on a bit, and they used to do a thing on a high wire. And uh, she uh, suffered with arthritis very badly, I remember, because I met them after. <laughs> An arthritic trapezius? Yes, well, yes, listen. <laughs> you have heard nothing yet. Just a bit, Desi. Desi, listen. You've heard nothing. <laughs> She's got the wire. And he, they listen. <laughs> and he was at the bottom holding it, you see. And she put her a foot in this loop. And then he used to swing around, and then she used to let go and fly out. And the language when she used to go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like you've never heard in a coal mine. I mean, it, and every time it's true. Every time she did this swinging, you see, he used to go ready, <coughs> right, and she's going. Right or smart, you know, she's about 50. <laughs> and she'd swing across, and as she went, ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Well, I was on the front row, and no, I, I, I think about it every night, just to hear the language. <laughs> well, you've done very well. I mean, you. Uh, yes, not bad, really. You, not bad. You've done uh, your own television show, mm -hmm. um, Royal Variety Show. With you. That's right. Yes. Uh, Liza Minnelli, the Osmond Brothers, yeah. to name but a few. Yes. Yes. That was a fantastic show. And of course, yes. um, your sister, Fan. Oh, yes, Fan. She must have been very, very pleased about that. Well, it was very strange, this, Desi, because I was appearing in Newcastle. And uh, when I um, heard about, uh, you know, going to the Palladium for the Royal Performers, I thought, well, I must ring Fan, because she likes to know. And Is Fan uh, sick, by the way, because an ambulance just went by? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear? You see, in the theatre here... It, it, yeah, I know, I know. Doesn't he stare? <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> and uh, I, I found out, you see, about... You know, the top I was going to the London played him to pivot for Her Majesty the Queen, so I rang Than, and, uh, what's that? <laughs> Than's juice. <Yeah. laughs> you were telling me it's Complan next. Anyway... <laughs> I phoned her up and I said, Fan, drop everything. I said, <laughs> I said I'm, I'm going to, what you do, don't do that. It's He's got some very dirty habits. I said, I said, Wait a minute. I've got to tell, I've got to clear. I have a, a radio mic pack and it's, oh, slip, it's slipping it down the back. <laughs> You'll find your way out of it. And, um, <laughs> And what was I telling you? You were talking Where about your fan. Oh, yes, fan. I mean, you were talking. <laughs> yes. About yeah, that's fan. right, fan. And I rang her up and I said, Fan, you're never going to believe this. I said, I'm going to the London Palladium to appear before the Queen in a royal performance. And she said, Very nice. Now, look, the Coleman's been, she said, Do we want 12 bags or 10. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you imagine this? Yes. So I said, Well, I think, so I said, What do you think? Shall I think we'll take 12 because it looks like a bad winter? I said, OK. <laughs> So I said, now, how about it? I'm going to the Palladium in a royal performance. She's very nice. I'm very pleased. Now she said, I think we'll only have ten, because we've got quite a few bags in as it is. Now, can you imagine that? After 30 years, trying to get to the London Palladium, and I make it, and she's worried about the coal man. Yes. That's, that's my sister. That's her oh. all over. Don't do it. <laughs> the only concession you've made to stardom, as far as I can see, is owning a Rolls Royce. That's right, Des, yes. That's the only thing. I haven't changed at all, really. You know, I'm too old to change, but... Uh, Actually, uh, I, I had the Rolls Royce because they do a lot of travelling, like you do. But um, honestly, it really doesn't mean a thing to me because, for the simple reason, I don't drive. I don't, I don't drive a car. Never wanted to. Never have. I never want to. What about when you were a kid? You mean you? Well, no, you see, Des. When I was a child, I was the same. I mean, uh, children in the playground. You know, the little boys used to go around going. Brrrr. Now they do and all that lark and. Sh -sh -sh -sh. I never did. I always wanted a doll's pram. <laughs> The Christmas morning, I came downstairs, there was a Meccano. Me, a Meccano. I wanted a doll that wheezed itself and because I could change it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you're on my side. But, you see, that's, uh, that's how it is. It's, it's very nice, I suppose. But, um, of course, you see, Everard and myself, we... Um... Oh, I was just, just going to ask, um, yes. having brought you up to, shall we say, today, where you are with your own show and a big yes. star and a yes, Rolls Royce, yes. uh, you haven't once mentioned your friends. Uh, what about Slack Alice? 
Well, she hasn't been well, you know. <laughs> Slack hasn't been well for a long time. She's had a very big operation. The, a bloodbath. <laughs> she had everything taken away in case of fire. They, <laughs> they say she'll never ride a bike again. <laughs> She's all springs and wires. <laughs> Takes her five minutes to sit down. I mean, I feel for her. <laughs> she came round the other day wearing a fur coat covered in dog hairs and guineas. <laughs> And the boots at a balaclava. <laughs> of course, she's very upset because, she, you see, she had a tattoo put across here during the war and uh, she can't get it off and she's very upset. You see, she can't wear a low-neck dress, you see. Stop laughing. She can't wear a low-neck dress, you see, when she goes anywhere. Most unfortunate tattoo. It says, give her the tools and I'll finish the job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a delight to have him the way we were, the way he is, the way I hope he always will be, Larry Grace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worn out. All those steps, Desi. Why do you have to have so many steps? Well, it's just to give an effect. Of well, I know. You. Well, it doesn't work. But my legs, I mean, I've got, I, I mean, when I walk down those steps, I mean, my leg, I thought they were going to go. You know that. <laughs> I How, really thought they were going to go. How are you generally health-wise? Because you look, he looks fit, doesn't he? Yes. yes. Oh, you look fit Place yourselves. Well, <laughs> look, I, uh, well, actually, I, I'm feeling a lot better, Desi, but, um, uh, well, I have my ups and downs, like we all do. You know, we do. <laughs> Look at me. I'm looking at... Well, now, I was... I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't very well. I was lying in bed, and it was about half past nine, and I just lay there, and I felt a lot better. <laughs> Usually, I feel as limp as a vicar's handshake. <laughs> I felt better. I thought, get up, get out. You know, you do. So I watered the window box and uh, <laughs> I came downstairs and I thought to myself, I wonder if John Hansen will go out again with the desert song. <laughs> and I sat there and I thought, <laughs> I thought, now what could I do exciting? I thought, I know, I shaved my legs. <laughs> Well, I, um, I sat there for a while, you know, had a glass of Wincarnas, and then um, my, my friend next door, Iris Titzel, <laughs> she came round and she said, you know, she's a very nice person, very nice person. She's rehearsing for a Faruka <laughs> on her neck. And uh, she came round, she brought for a, you know, a cup of sugar, and... Uh, she said, well, how are you? I said, well, you see, I said, you see, Iris, I, I said, I'm having one of my days. There's an R in the month. And sometimes I go as faint as a robin does. Just, I mean... <laughs> I go like that. So she said, well, why don't you go and see your doctor? Well, I don't like him. I don't like my doctor at all. Well, she said, well, I, I have to go. For my tablet, so I said, well, I'll come with you. I mean, I don't mind if I've got somewhere to go with, but I wouldn't go on my own. You're generally nervous about that. Oh, terrified, yes, terrified. Uh, anyway, we went together, and he doesn't like me. You know, I can feel it. So anyway, I went in, and uh, he looked at me, he looked straight at me, you know, as though he'd never seen me before. And he said, uh, what's wrong with you? Like that. <laughs> I thought he'd cut his mouth on a glass. <laughs> I said, I keep going limp. <laughs> he said, where's your get up and go? I said, it got up and went to Fortnite. <laughs> so he said to me, listen, no, no, listen. He said, take your clothes off. Leave your socks on, take your clothes off. <laughs> so off with your vest. And I'll examine you. And, and he did. And he said, now, you, he said, you see Larry? Well, he calls me Laz. Laz, he said, you can expect this sort of thing. Now you're 39. <laughs> so 
actually bring in a common audience. <laughs> So, it's now, you'll find yourself, in the next month or so, you'll find yourself going giddy. Giddy? Yes, giddy. He said, he said, now, he said, Larry, if you're out anywhere, and you feel yourself going giddy, don't be afraid. Hang on to something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I was in, I, I was in Rochester, the other week, I'd gone an outing with the old folks, and uh, I felt myself going giddy. I was in the main road, and I could feel myself going. Well, you'd know when you were well, going. Well, I did know, and I, and I just reached out to hang on to something, uh, and I did, and my case comes up next week. <laughs> you, you, you've been following me around. Yes. All the summer. That, yes, it's true. You, you, so, Margate, Margate, Southport, Central. Swansea, uh, and it, whenever I appear at the theatre there, I see your name up. Coming soon. Book now. <laughs> and uh, there's Lisa. Look at I'm, me. I'm Desi, looking, why don't you I'm look looking at, me? at you. You don't there. You look the other way. It's all them. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, no, We've had a marvellous tour this summer, haven't we, Des? It's been super. Have you enjoyed it? I have. I went to... I, no, what about this? Oh, this is lovely. No, come on. Let me... Ah, yes. Would no, you no, give, me, give me this. Give me that. No, give me this. No, wait just a minute. Now, this. It, uh, this was in a, 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 a paper. Uh, it's about you. And it's quite, it's quite amusing, really. I mean, the, your, your, your fans will love it. The millions looking in will, will love all this. Of course, I went hysterical. Well, it says here... <laughs> Des O'Connor is a British show business institution. What, what is this? You're well, well, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, one of your notices. Where? Isn't it? Where? Well, what? It's, it's the Great Yarmouth Mercury. Oh. <laughs> I'll go anywhere. Go yes. on. Well, I know Yarmouth's that. a I beautiful know. place. Well, of course it is. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it said it, he's been in the trade for well over 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> More like 50. And it said here. <laughs> And he has been so consistently popular in any medium he cares to try that it is often difficult to pinpoint exactly what he does. <laughs> well, I could tell him. And it says here, uh, you know, most, uh, about being a wonderful entertainer. Which, oh, no, 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 listen. It's embarrassing. Harsh, no, it's not, you don't be embarrassed at all. Danny would love it. Now, it says here, <laughs> and, no, this, this is lovely, this. It said, doesn't he wear well? <laughs> It does. They don't, they don't say about the surgery. And it says, <laughs> with a kind of waistline that a man of 20 years his junior might envy. Does it want to make you throw up? <laughs> it said, uh, 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 the twinkling smile and the famous dimples. It's a little wonder that the fe his female following is a gi of gigantic proportions. And I saw her outside, she's a ton. <laughs> That's very nice, it is. Is that for real? Is that, it? that is for real. No, I got oh, that. No, this is for One real. One of your fans sent me that. Do you know? Yes, she did. It's, it's on the, yes, it, she did. That, we what? have here... We have here a genuine article, a book, by Laz. Yes, Laz. Sure, I've called you Laz. Larry Garrison. Larry Garrison. Methodist. Um... <laughs> It's a book. Well, look, it's your book. Well, yeah, well, it's, you it's, well, oh, you've got your little lorgnette on, out. You are. <laughs> you've got your little lorgnette. That's... You've noticed. I, I haven't seen that since the jet... It's become a, the, a the trade... Yes, you know, I used to wear them all the time because I used to keep falling about everywhere. Yeah. Now, this cookery book, Des... Is it, it a... Is it, it a gen... I mean, is this a real cookbook? Yes. Or is it a gag book? No, no, it's not a gag book. It's, it's a real, genuine... A uh, cookery book, wartime cookery book, I must tell you. Wartime? Wartime. These were all read. Well, I was in the war, you know. <laughs> that surprised you, hasn't it? What we... Rough. Now, it says here that th these, these recipes are for real. And, uh, and there's a story to each of them. Now, uh, there's, there's one here, which is a very good way, uh, uh, that Slack Alice. How is she, by the way? She's what? not been well. She's not been well for a long time, you see. She's... Uh, well, she's got a new job now, you know. She's a bunny girl in a fish and chip shop. <laughs> <laughs> while, she, while we're on the subject, just for a second, what about, um, who we're at, um, Everard? What's Everard? Well, Everard, well, of course, Everard, you see, I don't see a lot of him these days. Uh, his war wound has been troubling him. 
and uh, he went to Blackpool and r romped on the beach and got sand in his war wound and he hasn't been well for a long time. But he's been camping all the summer with his friend Michael Bonaventure. They've been camping, they've been, they've been up to the Lake District, they've been to Mid Wales, and it's straight, they go camping, yet they haven't got a tent. <laughs> and, uh, but you see, he loves the open air life. He, he goes everywhere, he's got all these sleeping bags, and, uh, and, he, and so I don't see a lot about him. What about uh, Poppet and Pete? The postman? Yeah. Well, he's had to be moved. He's had to be moved? Yeah, yes, because you see, he's been putting strange things through people's letterboxes. <laughs> and people would complain. Well, they did, except her next door to me, and she loved it, but you see. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was anybody's during the war, but you see the thing is, and of course, the, you sorry, no, 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 you won't. What are you telling me about? Well, I'm, I'm, there, there is because little... Slack, you see, Slack. I might tell you that Slack, who hasn't been well, you know, she's had this big operation, and they say she'll never ride a bike again. <laughs> she can't get a leg over the saddle, and uh, but she's not bothered, you see, Desi, because she's she's got this uh, lodger now. She's got a very nice lodger. He used to play with Max Jaffa and his orchestra, and before that with Albert Sandler. And he's got a very big instrument. He's got this, um, <laughs> he's got this xylophone, and he tinkles all the time. And, it, and, it, and he's bought this big dog that pulls her everywhere. And I told her, I said, Slack, you'll have to watch your femur, because that dog will have you down. I mean, it keeps jumping up at her all the time, and she thinks it's playing. And uh, when she. <laughs> When she brings it... <laughs> you are a cop. <laughs> you see, when she brings it round to the house, yes. it smells terrible. <laughs> I mean, it really does smell... And, and you see, and it, I say, heel, heel, get under. And it, and she, it do, does take a bit of notice of it. And of course, it's, it, it smells terrible. And it keeps licking all the time and scratching. And the positions it gets in that dog. <laughs> I've tried, but I've never seen that. <laughs> you can taste it on the toast. <laughs> I've told her to watch a femur. <clears throat> what about you? Look, I, I'm, I've tried to touch, if you pardon, I've tried to touch on the... You've tried to touch everything, you know. <laughs> your, your circle of friends. You have a new, a new friend, or maybe she's an old friend that's coming to your life again, Iris. Iris Titzel. Yes, she, yes. Well, now, Iris Titzel, she, uh, she got me on to doing this book. Was that her idea? Yeah, well, it was her idea at the start of it, because she found, she found at the bottom of my wardrobe, she was cleaning out one day, I hadn't been well, and the wardrobe wanted doing it, and she found these uh, recipes, and they really are real recipes from well, the let, war years. Can we, I'm sorry if I've interrupted you, because... Well, you haven't. <laughs> no, it's your show, Des. Yes, but we're trying to extract from you gems and all... Oh, yes. Oh, well, yeah, well, now, there's one here that it's called, You Can't Be to Winkle. Now, I'm not that you're really fond of Winkles no, wait, yourself, are I you? am... Pardon? You're fond of Winkles, aren't you? I'm slightly confused. Is it a book of poetry or is it a book of recipes? Well, well you see, uh, Slack wrote some of these uh, recipes out. She tried them out, you see, and ever other people like that. Now, this recipe here, Slack Alice wrote this in 1941 for Winkle Week. I see, so it's a poem dedicated to, to the recipe. To I, yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> yes, well, now, and she was given a, a gold-plated uh, winkle pin for this poem, and also she wrote another poem called Have Faith in a Winkle. But the judge... <laughs> the judges thought it was too religious. Now, 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 <laughs> now, can I just read you this? It said, three cheers for the British winkles, the finest thing for you. Three cheers for the British Winkles. They will help to see us through. They are cheap and cheerful, and there's a lot of them about. So do your bit for Britain. Go on, get your Winkle out. <laughs> this is not the end one. Hang on. Hold on. He said here, they will help us win the war, and that's what we all see. So let us all pull together now and start our Winkle Week. So come on, grab your Winkle and attack it with a pin. And shout our Winkle slogan, it's better out than in. You did many, many uh, 
reviews, and um, I'm talking about show business reviews, because not a lot of people know that you were a dashing, debonair, young blade. It's the only way to describe it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I mean, took it's the truth. Took people's breath. You, well, yes. you were on there and I was, giving I, it, wasn't giving it? Giving it everything. Everything. <laughs> Twice nightly. And a matter on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I, many years ago, I was in a show when it's joined the war. And I was in a show called, it was, a, it was an all-male review. All-male? Yes. It was called Compete Through My Porthole. <laughs> and uh, in the show, I was quite young, and, but there was, uh, don't laugh. Don't I'm say. not laughing, I'm, and I'm... I remember being at the Coliseum Portsmouth, and there was, uh, we did, at the end of the show, it was an all-male show, you see, and, and therefore someone had to be Britannia. So they asked me to do it, of course, you see. And I had... Um, a blonde wig and the, and the shield, everything you see, and, and they uh, we did this pyramid, a human pyramid, all standing there, and I was on top of these these all these boys standing there and with me the, on top, with the spear, with, yeah, with the spear, <laughs> and, and, and they sang, uh, you know, land of open glory or something, and uh, uh, you know I was side faced like she looks on the penny, coin, and uh, and on the top you see, and. This young boy, who I didn't like in the show at all, because I thought he was light-fingered. <laughs> well, no, because a lot of things were missing, you know, out of the dressing rooms, but I never said a word, as you know me. And uh, I was on top one night, at the very top, and they were all standing there like this. And this boy coughed. <laughs> and we all fell in a big heap. And it was then I found this boy's hand in my pocket and I thought it was after a small chain. And I said, either he goes or I go. And so he stayed and I went. And that was the end to that. Because not... <laughs> if a fairy godmother was to land in your lounge... They're in every day. <laughs> with a wand and say... With a wand? Yes, you'd need a wand and say that you could play any film part, uh, wh what would you choose, Lawrence of Arabia, or The Stud, or, you know, what, what would you <laughs> Oh, but I don't think so, I'm too young for that. Yeah. I think I'd like to, I'd like to play like uh, Claude Rains, like Prince John, mm. or somebody, actually I'd like to be Dracula. Oh, it's not no, 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 I wouldn't no, mind. It's, it's I, not I've also admired my, my Christopher Lee, so tall and, and with a cloak and everything. I wouldn't mind that at all. But of course, I'm too lovable for all that. What about music? I mean, I'm. I'm... <laughs> what did you say? What about pop music? Um, are you into um, heavy metal? Wear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hot chocolates. <laughs> You like, like yes. Before I go to bed at night, hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, you do like groups. Oh, yeah, the, the group hot chocolate. Yes, I, yes, I'm into them. Yes, yes, I, yes, I don't. Do mind. you like pop music in general? I mean, it, only favourite things. I'm just chasing around to, to try and draw out a little of the light. Well, no, no, I know. I like I like lovely music, you know, by Ivan Novello and things like that, and Noel Coward. That's my music. But I, but I, I go right across the board, actually. You know, I like all kinds of music. I love I love everybody. I love everything. Well, uh, we've enjoyed you here tonight, Have but you? I did notice one thing when That's you arrived that. today in the car and. Don't mind me saying you've still got the nice Rolls Royce, right? Oh, yes. I did notice that you're still sitting in the back and you're not driving. Is there any particular ah, reason ah, for well that? I've got a surprise for you now, because I'm now taking lessons uh, for the last uh, ten weeks. And uh, you'll be very surprised to know, I can now open the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't shut the door tonight, and once again it was a pleasure talking and giggling with Larry. Larry <laughs>